and think about all the great things in there. So we'll be showing those. I'll be able to pre-order the beginning of May. So in May, then I'll be showing you some new stuff. But in the meantime, we have new stuff, right? Okay, so I think, yeah, I think we're ready to do our stamping. Okay, so this first one, let me show you. I am loving, okay, so Sharon was saying, or I was able to order the bundle with the ornate layers dies, gotcha, okay. Good, so you got one of them anyway, right? Okay, so here, this is that embossing folder again, right there, and then this is a fun, I saw this fold on a card um, that was shared somewhere anyway. I can't even remember who shared it, but I thought, oh, I'm gonna do that with this new set of products that I wanna show you guys. So let me tell you how you can make this card too. We'll set that right up there. Um, okay, let's see, what do we have? I have all my stuff here, trying to decide what do I need first and next and whatever. Okay, I know I need those ink pads. Um, let's do, <laughs> okay, because I know I need my die cutting machine, so I'm trying to give myself space. You know, I always like, <laughs> I always pile everything up so much. But okay, let me give you dimensions. So this is a little bit different card base than we normally have so let me show you how this works okay so it's still kind of a half a sheet of cardstock so i think i started with along the 11 inch side i just literally cut it off at eight and a quarter inches okay and then i also cut it in half along the eight and a half inch side at four and a quarter inches so this card base measures four and a quarter by eight and a quarter and then i did still score it along what was halfway of 11 inches at five and a half okay so four and a quarter by eight and a quarter scored at five and a half that's how you make the card base okay then we have and i'll show you so that's just gonna fold right in there so the card base is kind of opposite hey miss diana hello hello Welcome. And then this is a piece of Whisper White cardstock that measures four by five and a quarter inches. And that's the piece that's gonna go right there that we are gonna emboss, okay? Then we have this piece of Early Espresso cardstock, which is this one right here that folds in like that. So this piece starts at two and three quarter by seven and a half, and then we score it at three and three quarters, okay? So that's gonna go, that's that piece right there, okay? Then I think the only, well actually you need two more measurements. These are just scrap pieces, but yep, that's that one. Okay, so this white piece right here measures two and a half by three and a half. And then your designer series paper, that piece right there measures two and a half by four. And again, all of these measurements will be on my blog this afternoon at gatheringinspiration.com, along with item codes for everything that we're using here. So Rosemary, if you don't already know, I will give you the number, actually I'll give it to you right now, 152725, but that'll be listed on my blog, everything that we use on this card too, okay? Then I just have a couple of scrap pieces of Whisper White and Crushed Curry cardstock to do our die cutting right here, okay? So let's do that. We're gonna do our stamping. So this stamp set is like a build your own kind of thing if you haven't. Hey, Miss Roseanne, how are you? I have your order out on the porch if you wanna stop by and pick it up. And if anybody else is listening, I'm trying to think of who else's orders are out there, but stop by, they're out there. Um, okay, so this stamp set, you can kind of build, right? Like my favorite one is the where is this one? Where is it? Uh, why thanks, my friend. So you just grab the little Y from here, the thanks and my friend. So it's three different stamps. You can just build them right up on your clear block. So in this case, I did thanks, you're amazing. So these are separate and they just peel off. And the, so I would suggest put these on, ink it up, stamp on scratch paper to make sure you like, you know, that one isn't like angled funny, you know what I mean? So that they look good together when you stamp them. So I'm pretty sure that one is good, I hope. <laughs> but you know, as I say that, maybe I will grab a scratch piece of paper and let's make sure. So we need some early espresso ink. So we're gonna do that. Okay, so we've got, thanks, you're amazing. 
I see the tap, 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 and I'm gonna stamp that right in here. Well, that didn't work at all, did it? So that's when you grab this piece. Okay, we're gonna try that again. I think it looks like it's lined up well, but let's see, and I'm gonna press. That's better. Okay, everything is lined up, it looks good, okay? So now, I'm gonna put my Whisper White piece right on there. You're gonna ink this up well. Stamp it right in the middle there. Press firmly and rub. I'm not wiggling or rocking. Ah, beautiful. There we go. Thanks, you're amazing. All right, and while we are stamping, I'm just gonna stamp my little flower from, this is the Ornate Style stamp set. So this is the other coordinating stamp set. So we're just using that little flower right there from that stamp set on the corner. We're gonna do that one in Crushed Curry. So, because that's all the stamping we're doing here. So we got that one. So we're just gonna ink that up. This one should be good. There, okay, good. Now we have our stamping done. So I'm just gonna move the ink right out of the way in the stamps too. Okay, so now we are gonna do our embossing and our die cutting. So we need that one and that one and that one. Okay, <laughs> I think I got it. You guys got it? All right, there we go. So I'm kind of silent here trying to remember what I read. I'm pretty sure I can kind of tell you, I think you guys all kind of knew this, right? That we have a new die cutting and embossing machine coming out. But the thing is, um, we don't want to hype it up too much because it, you're going to be able to see pictures of it in the annual catalog, but it's not quite going to be available like on... Oh, hey, Miss Kay. <laughs> I'm glad you can join us. You're going to want to watch. You're going to want to rewind and um, check out earlier in the video. Um, and yes, good morning, Miss Diana, too. So, okay, so back to the die cutting machine. Um, we have a new die cutting machine. It's not called a Big Shot. I can't remember what they call it. Um, it will be available at some point after the annual catalog goes live. They don't know exactly what they haven't told us um, for sure when yet. So again, I don't want to say too much because you can't get it quite yet. So the new catalog goes live the beginning of June. So at some point after the beginning of June, you will be able to get the new die cutting and embossing machine. In the meantime, just use what you have or borrow your friends, but don't buy another one because I'm sure you're going to want this one when we can finally get it. Okay, so here I am jabbering on. What do I need? I need my other platform. Okay. So we have our regular platform and where's my embossing folder? Right here. Okay, so we're going to use the new ornate floral embossing folder. All right, here we go. Slipping our, this was the Whisper White 4 by 5 and a quarter piece. We're going to put that right in there. We're going to use our... 3D embossing folder, the blue plate, because that makes the right sandwich for us. One thing I did learn was the new plates are all gonna have numbers on them. So you're not gonna be like, which one do I use with what? They're gonna just tell you, use this number. So that's really a good idea. Okay, so you guys, look at this. I'm telling you, it looks like a blanket that I got way back when Cade was first born. He's gonna be 18 in July too, so that was kind of a while ago. <laughs> um, but I love, there's just something about, look at the, the beautiful floral, I don't know. I really just, I love it. I hope you guys do too. Okay, we're scooting all that out of the way. And, Sorry, everything's everything gets super askew. I just get too excited. Okay, so let's put things together. I think we have everything that we need. So now I have to remember how I did it because it was a couple days ago. <laughs> you know, when I prep these like the night before, it's more fresh in my mind. When it was like a day or so ago, it's not quite as fresh. <laughs> oh well, we're gonna do the best we can. Okay, so we're gonna add this embossed piece that one makes sense, right? Then let's put our designer series paper. Ooh, you wanna see the back? Okay, so this is fun. Looks like um, sunflowers, right? Daisies, maybe. And then here is the gold shimmery 
back side. You can have some fun with that one too, right? Okay, so we're gonna add. Oh, did you guys see too? I'm kind of blown away by this, but Snail is retiring. They're coming out with a new adhesive. I can't even remember what it's called, um, but it'll be fabulous, I'm sure. But I was really like, whoa, that kind of rocked my world when I learned that Snail was retiring. So if you love it, just order, order as much as you can to keep your stockpile for a while. Um, and if not, um, if you can't, you just get the new stuff and that'll be good too. Okay, so we're gonna just add this piece right on here, okay? So this one just goes right in here. So this is where you're gonna write your sentiment on your card. Now, you wanna use a lot of adhesive on this piece. So I'm trying to do that there, okay. So what I think you should do Let's think about that. What do I think you should do? I think you should forget about that piece, and I think you should try to center this kind of top to bottom and side to side in here. Okay, so let's let's try to do that. Does that look pretty good? No, I think it's a little crooked. I could be super anal. Other people just slap these things together. I wish I could do that. Right, but okay, I think that looks good. There, okay, so now we're gonna press very firmly. That's gonna go there, and that's gonna, isn't that fun how that opens up like that? Okay, now we just need to put our sentiment on here. So we're gonna add our, oh, huh, Sharon, refills are already backordered. I had to kind of wonder. The other thing that I am in a little bit of a panic about, um, and I haven't done enough research on, but um, if you guys are scrapbookers, um, we're not, I don't think we're going to have a 12 by 12 album any longer and um, the 12 by 12 page protectors too. So if you need 12 by 12 page protectors or an album, get those now. I'm trying to figure out how many I need to order <laughs> and hopefully they're not all sold out as well. I think it's just the whole, you know, people don't scrapbook as much as they used to. So over the years, they've definitely decreased the line of you know, the product line on that. Okay, so these were, we just added dimensionals here, but we'll all just roll with it. Whatever it is, it is. We trust Stampin' Up that they're doing, um, they're doing good things as, in terms of a company too. Um, you know, they have to make those decisions based on sales, really. Okay, so here, this is, what is this? This is a mint and macaron textile ribbon. Hello, Miss Debbie Green. How are you? This is a beautiful ribbon to work with. And thank you for sharing the video too, Debbie. Um, and to make bows with. It's just a really nice, easy ribbon to work with. Because it makes pretty, pretty bows. And I love the kind of shimmeriness of it too. Okay. So we are going to kind of trim our bow. And we grab a mini blue dot. And we are about set here. So you guys all doing all right? I hope so, right? Just kind of keep plugging along through this. Ah, oh, love the fold. <laughs> yes, make a card like that this weekend. Very good idea. That's awesome, Rose, I appreciate that. So yeah, I I'm all about the fun folds these days. We have 